friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going book shopping. We're going to a used bookstore first, and then we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble. I'm gonna spend all of my money today, and we're ready to go. So earlier this morning, I made a list, so I will put footage in of that. This is not what I meant to happen. You can make the lines off my face. Okay, as you know, we're going book shopping today. First, I'm going to a used bookstore, which is called Gottwell's in Macon, Georgia. And then I know I'm gonna to go to Barnes & Noble. I have my laptop here and I have my phone here. And before I go to the used bookstore, I always like to make a list of authors because it is very overwhelming when you get to the used bookstore. It is organized, just not as organized as Barnes & Noble. I know one series I'm going in for is the Harry Potter series. I just finished the first book this morning on my Kindle. I read it in the past and I enjoyed it, but I never continued the series. I loved this first book. I rated it four stars. It wasn't a complete five stars because I feel like you have to get really into knowing the characters before I feel like it's a true five star, but it was really good and I definitely want to get the whole series. I know that the used bookstore has a series because every time I've been there, I've wanted to get this series, but I know it's on Kindle Unlimited. I didn't want to bite the bullet and buy the physical copies if I knew I didn't like the series, but I think I'm really going to like the series. So I want to get the Harry Potter books. I'm going to make the list on my laptop the notes app, which will transfer over to my phone. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos to get some inspiration of books that I wanna buy. But we're gonna go through the playlist that they make for me. All right, I just wanted to explain my process because when I was filming it, it didn't go so hot. So first I start with the notes app. I make a list of books I know off the top of my head that I want. I also have a Notion page, so I'll go on there and look at the books to buy, page that I already have set up. I also just wanted to add authors to my list. Another place I go to is Goodreads. I look at all the Goodreads articles and different people I follow on Goodreads. I will also watch YouTube videos. I'll look on Instagram. I'll look on TikTok. Just a bunch of different places where people put out book recommendations and reviews. I get inspiration from there, and then I put it in this list. I have to go by list my life is in a list here is the list that i came up with number one i know the used bookstore has the harry potter series next one the last word by taylor adams i can put pictures in this is the thriller book that became popular in the past month i think it's about a girl who reads a book and she doesn't like the book so she gives it a one star and then the author comes after her for giving it the one star which i just think is a really funny premise people said it's actually really suspenseful so i won't read that at night red rising by pierce brown this is a science fiction book that Haley fam blew up on the internet people say it's hunger games in space ballad of songbirds and snakes that is the last book in the Hunger Games series. No, it's not really the last book, I guess. I think it's a prequel all about Snow's background. The movie trailer looks really good. The movie, I think, is coming out in November. None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. This is the author who wrote Then She Was Gone. I made a whole reading vlog about that. It was a really good book. It was just really dark. I've heard this one is not as dark. Unstable by Carrie King. The only person I've heard talk about this on YouTube is Rachel Catherine. I think I want to get it, but I don't think I'll read it anytime soon because it's a summer country romance book. It sounds like Heartland. If you ever watched the TV show Heartland, it sounds just like that. The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. This one blew up recently. The cover looks very fall-ish. I don't even know if it is a fall book or set in the fall time, but every YouTuber I've seen rate it has given it five stars. I think it's a romance book with a fantasy element to it. The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. This is the first book before The Kiss Curse, which is what I have at home. It's basically Halloween Town. All of the sisters are witches, and it's a funny rom-com. Project Hail Mary is the last one. I don't know which YouTuber, YouTuber I saw talk about this. I think it's a science fiction book in space again. And then specifically authors that I'm looking for when I go to the used bookstore. Sarah Adams. I don't think they're going to have her there, but one of my favorite authors. She writes all the cute little romance books. She wrote When in Rome. She wrote, there it is, Practice Makes Perfect, that's the other one. Jennifer Lynn Barnes, she wrote the Inheritance Game series. She wrote the Natural series, which is blowing up everywhere right now, too. Olive e. Blake, I just heard she has really pretty writing. She writes fantasy and romance. Catherine Sinner wrote The Bodyguard, that was a really good book. She has a new one out called Hello Stranger. And then the rest I've never read from, Allie Hazelwood and Abby Jimenez, I've heard they're good romance authors. That's pretty much it. I think that's enough. I'm going in with that plan. I'll show you the books that I am getting rid of though. At this used bookstore, you can bring in books that you don't want anymore and then you get store credit. Number one, Love and Luck. I read the first book, Love and Gelato. Loved it. Five star book, wonderful. Started this book, absolutely hated it. <laughs> I don't know what happened between the first book and the second book. I thought it was a romance book, but it's the girl and her brother that go on a road trip and then pick up a friend along the way and he's supposed to be the 
love interest. I think it's weird to go on a road trip and fall in love with someone while your brother's in the car. Like, that's weird. <laughs> that's a no. This one I read. Uh, regret every minute of me reading this book. I have so many issues with this book. I'll talk about it more in my September reading wrap up. But I broke the spine and one of the pages came out. So I hope that they'll take it back. This is a really popular book though. I think they'll take it. Colleen Hoover. I'm not a Colleen Hoover girl. Highly suspicious and unfairly cute. Another really popular book. I read this in my reading highest rated versus lowest rated book on Goodreads video. This was the lowest rated for a reason. I read Rock, Paper, Scissors first. I thought it was just this book that I really didn't like. Everyone else liked it on YouTube, but I did not. But I thought I'd give her a second chance. So I read Sometimes I Lie. This was even worse. This sounds really harsh, I know. This one, the girl's in a coma the whole time. I don't even remember anything else besides that. I loved this book. This is Breaking Dawn, the last book in the Twilight series. The first two, one, two, three books I have in this series were a different edition. So all the covers look different than this one. So I found the correct edition of Breaking Dawn that matches all my other books. So I'm just going to return this one. All right. I'll talk to you when we get there. I found somebody. I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you Sometimes I do, cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to, on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you, till First Avenue when I do the day after our wonderful book shopping experience and I wanted to give you a haul of all the books I've got. I got a steal at the used bookstore and then we also went to Barnes & Noble. First I'll start with the used bookstore. With this bookstore you can bring in books, which I did. They take the books and then whatever credit you got from them, it's like half off the books you purchase at the bookstore. If there is a used book for $5 and you have credit for $5, you get that book for $2.50 and it takes $2.50 off of your $5 credit. I had like $130 credit after they took the books and they add it to the credit I already had. And I think now I'm back down to 90, so I got at least 40 something dollars off, not including the discount that the books are already at. First things first, I got Watching You by Lisa Jewell. This is the same author who wrote Then She Was Gone. I actually did a whole reading vlog on this book. The writing was really good. It was just a really dark, kind of sad book, but I felt like it was really well, really well written. And there's a new book by Lisa Jewell that I want to get. They didn't have it at the used bookstore or Barnes and Noble, actually. Figured I'd try another one by Lisa Jewell. This one came out 2018. I don't really know what it's about. It looks like it's a murder mystery. I got a lot of fillers at the bookstore. I also saw No Exit by Taylor Adams. Taylor Adams wrote The Last Word, which is the book I think I was talking about earlier. They didn't have that at either bookstore I went to, but they had no exit. Now, I've heard about this book a while ago from YouTubers. I was never interested in reading it because honestly it kind of sounds terrifying, but it was $4, <laughs> so I decided to get it. Let's see, it's about a college student who gets caught in a blizzard. She's forced to wait at a rest stop, but then she sees a girl that's locked in a crate, so she's trying to save this girl, figure out who is this person? How can I help her? I am a little hesitant to read this because I don't like books that are trapped in one location the whole time and the whole point of this is no exit. But I recently read Ward D by Freedom McFadden and that was set mainly in all one location and I actually really enjoyed it. Another thriller I got, which this was such a steal. I picked up The House of the Cross of the Lake. It was one of their new stock books, meaning it wasn't a used book, so I would have to pay full price for it. Well, their full price is a little discounted, so it would have been like $16. So I brought it up there. She said, I actually just got a used book that came in. I haven't even put it out yet. It was $4.50. <laughs> Haley Pham rated this five stars as one of her favorite thrillers. Now, I really like this cover. I don't know if you can tell. 
The cover is just really cool. It's giving very fall spooky vibes. The next three books I got are all part of the Harry Potter series. I just recently finished the first Harry Potter book, so I wanted to get physical copies of the books. They're all on Kindle Unlimited, which is great. And I definitely want to read them on my Kindle, but I also want to have a physical copy. They only had a couple that were used, and I want them all the same edition. So I've got four, five, and six here, even though I've only read the first one. After this discount, they were all about three or four dollars each, so that's amazing. This one's kind of thick. Number four is thick. How thick is this book? 700 over 700 pages i'm excited to get more into this series and watch the movies i want to watch the first movie really soon because i just finished the first book the last book i got there this was in their new release section this was not a used book but it was very discounted the original price is 30 dollars and it was discounted for 15 dollars and i got an extra discount so it was like eight dollars this is hello stranger by katherine center the bodyguard is also written by katherine center i'll show it to you this is The Bodyguard. I rated this one four stars when I read it, but really it's more like a five star after thinking about it. It's one of my favorite romance books. It's so cute. The writing is very clean. It's very fast paced and fun. I think it's about a girl who has face blindness. So that part is interesting. And there's also romance, of course. Then I went to Barnes and Noble. First I got The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. What's funny is I had a reminder on my phone for this morning to get this book because the movie's coming out soon, but I just got it yesterday. It's just really funny how the reminder popped up on my phone. I said, I just bought that yesterday. Anyway, this is part of the Hunger Games series. This is a prequel talking about Snow's background and there's a movie coming out about it too. This is In the Weeds. This is by the same author of Love Like Farms, which is a Christmas romance. I've heard that this author is writing a book for every season. I hope that this is the fall one because this looks very fall, but also there was one that looked more springy, but they kind of have similar colors. So I hope I got the right one. I have since learned that this was actually the spring book and the other book I saw and that was a summer book. So I don't know where the fall book is. I guess it hasn't come out yet, but doesn't that one look like a fall book? Oh well. A grumpy farmer and a no-nonsense social media influencer have another chance at love in this charming romantic comedy. Seems really cute. The cover is really cute. How perfect is this cover? It's so pretty. And lastly, the book I am most excited for is The Seven Year Slip. Haley Fam recently rated this five stars. I think someone else recently rated this five stars. The cover is just gorgeous. Look how pretty this cover is. It's very fall. It's just Mwah, beautiful. It seems as though a woman Clementine arrives at her apartment and then there's a man there, but he exists in the past. So they're coexisting right now, but they're living seven years apart. What is the Bible verse for today? The Bible verse for today is Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. This verse really just reminds me to listen to the Lord because he's there to guide us and teach us along the way. If we read more of his word, we become closer to him. We understand more of his teachings and we're able to connect more with him. And really put him at the forefront of our brains when we're going throughout our life. And it's also comforting to know that he's with us every step of the way. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed book shopping with me. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.